Hi, we're going to show you how to sort and filter in Excel. Now, sorting is pretty easy. You want to make sure you have all of your data, however. So, the best way to do that is go to the gray box at the left-hand corner that is neither the 1 nor the A. And you highlight everything that's in your sheet. You'll go up to Data and select Sort. Now, you can sort by value, you can sort by color, but we don't have anything highlighted in color, so we're going to sort by value. And I want to sort by country. And now, again, you'll see that it's going to sort with the countries beginning with A and ending with Z. There we go. Pretty easy, right? Now, what if you only want to look at those factories that are in, say, China? Well, I'm going to add some filters here. So you highlight the first row, right, your column headers, and you go back up to Data, and you click on Filter. So here, if I want to filter on country, I click on the Filter button here, and it gives me some options. I don't want all of the countries, so I deselect all. And I'm going to go just to China. Now, you haven't lost your data. It's just giving you back everything in this viewer that is China. Say, however, that you only want to look at factories in a specific city. Well, you can filter further. You just go to the factory city here, and you can deselect all. I want those that are in Beijing. Oh, there's only one in Beijing. I want everything in Dalian. Oh, only one in Dalian. Let's pick one down here. A couple of these. You can just look at those select entries that you want. And if you want to save this, what you do is you just copy. And you paste it. Mm -hmm. You want to save your column headers, of course. So then you would just... Save your column headers here. Copy. Okay. Now you go back here. Now you probably don't want this, and all you have to do then is uncheck the filters, and you have everything back. Now notice that I saved this as factories, KW, my initials, and one. So because I've manipulated this, I want to save a new draft so I can keep a, a series of records. I'm going to save this as factories KW2. Now you can do this by dates, um, however works for you. And there you go.